How do you lost baby girl? <laughs> this is definitely the worst movie of 2020 so far. And seeing how most movies are being delayed, I'm pretty sure that this film is going to continue to hold that title. Most people know the, the plot of this film because it's... TikTok famous, I guess, or it was. Essentially, this movie is about some guy getting a boner about a girl he saw on the beach. He becomes obsessed with her to the point where he kidnaps this woman. And this whole movie is just about him trying to get this random lady to sleep with him. You know, a, a guy trying to sleep with a woman sounds like the plot to a romantic comedy, but the difference here is that he's holding this woman against her will. And this guy isn't supposed to be an antagonist. He's one of the main protagonists, but he's just so rapey, it's weird and it's uncomfortable to watch. Especially since we're supposed to sympathize with this person. He just looks like a smelly douchebag, and every time I saw him on the screen I wanted to slap him. Disturbingly, I've seen people justify his actions because he never technically forced himself on her. He's a good guy because he waited before she gave him her consent. Yeah, just ignoring the fact that he kidnapped her, and he's pushed her against the wall multiple times, and made out with her without her giving consent. I mean, for all we know, this woman has Stockholm Syndrome. All the signs are there. It honestly feels like a Fifty Shades of Grey version of the film Berlin Syndrome. Speaking of Fifty Shades of Grey, I would have to say that that movie is better than this one. Don't get me wrong, both are complete dog shit, but at least the bland, cut-out fantasy guy in that movie didn't kidnap the main girl. So, what are the other characters like? Well, the main female lead is pretty bland. Her story is that her boyfriend or husband or whatever doesn't pay much attention to her. Never seen that before. We don't know what she likes, we don't know what her interests are. I'm gonna have to assume that the female leads in these type of movies are always super bland is because a woman watching this wants to put herself in that position, or at least that's what the director wants them to do. It's the same reason why the female leads in Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey are also incredibly bland and boring. Instead of taking you out of reality and putting you in this fantasy through clever writing, Instead, what they do is that they make these characters voided of any personality so the people watching it can insert themselves in the film. These type of characters are known as audience surrogates, and it is one of the most lazy writing tropes to ever exist. Hey, we have a bunch of sex in the movie. That sells. Might as well just roll with that, and while we're at it, just make any of the characters void of any personality because it doesn't matter. We have sex in here. The only character's name I remember is Mario. He's like the butler or the uh, bodyguard for uh, Mr. Rapey. Mario is probably my favorite character from the film, just simply due to the fact that the actor in every single scene looks like he doesn't want to be there. There's other characters like the female lead's best friend and the male lead's brother. Uh, they're also incredibly boring. The dialogue is complete ass. Are you lost, baby girl? Some of the most cheesy, cliche dialogue I've ever heard. And yeah, some of it is so bad it's funny, but most of it is painful. Anyone that cringes that baby girl has never been in a real relationship. Well, I watched this movie with my girlfriend, and every time the guy uttered, Are you lost, baby girl? We both cringed pretty hard. It's the most common nickname. Read a fucking book. Yes, there are couples out there that call each other baby girl or baby boy, but those are the couples that us normal people make fun of. Believe it or not, though, there are actually some good things that come from this movie. I appreciate any film that includes other languages. You know, it's not just everyone in the universe speaks English. Just adding other languages makes a film feel more authentic. And I will admit, some of the shots in this film were actually pretty decent, and I can tell the actors are talented. Unfortunately for them, they were given a pretty garbage script. Maybe a new shite movie will emerge this year, but, you know, I, I think that this is pretty heavy competition for the worst movie of 2020 so far.